Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'd like to see if we can predict the value of the most expensive cards released this year and what their prices will be come same time next year. First, we have to look at how the cards released last year have performed the following year and see what information we can extract and apply into our prediction. The most expensive card released last year was the Giratina Alternate Art, which was at $273 this time last year, and now it's $235 was just a price drop of 14%, which is quite shocking. I would love to have this card in my collection, so I hope the price will keep dropping. Next is the Lugia V from Silver Tempest. This was the last set released in 2022, so it probably has more room to fall for sure. It was $213, now sitting at $126. That's over a 40% drop. Uh, that's $87 in savings if you waited a year. Next, we have the Brilliant Stars Charizard Alternate Art. This was $186, and now it's sitting at $117. Price drop of 37%, about $70 in savings. This is my favorite alternate art released last year, and I'm very lucky I was able to pull it from the ETB. I think the only alternate art I actually want to purchase outside of this one would be the Giratina. So, one down. Next up is the Aerodactyl Alternate Art. Um, Lost Origin has two chase cards, and this one was $130. Dropped 33% to $87 now. That's over $40 in savings. Next is the Machamp V Alternate Art from Astral Radiance. I was still re relatively new to collecting Pokemon when this card came out, and I was really shocked at how much the price jumped after release. Uh, it was up to $125 held that area, held the $100 mark area for a long time, and now it's dropping to, now it's dropped to $83, about 33% drop, $40 in savings. Next we have this Rainbow Zard from Brilliant Stars. This was an $84 card and now it's sitting at 65, a 22% drop. But this card had just recently shot up, uh, before that it was sitting at $48, so it was nearly a 42% drop. So not sure if this card has kind of hit its bottom and it's on its way back up. Next we have two very unpopular alternate art cards of the Alga and Palkia I guess. Uh, Palkia dropped, uh, it was $53 and dropped 47%. The Alga was $51 and dropped 50%. So they're fairly cheap now. And then we have Rotom, Rotom V dropping only 34% from $41 now to $27. Next we have the Trainer Gallery, so my personal favorite cards from last year. Uh, Pikachu VMAX was the most expensive one at $50, it dropped 40%, now it's sitting at $30. Next was Rayquaza at $47, dropping also 40%, now at $28. And then my personal favorite Trainer Gallery card, Starmie V with Misty. Uh, such a beautiful card, this card has held amazingly well. $37 last year, only dropping 5%. So $2 savings if you waited a year. Maybe this card just priced perfectly. And then on this page, we have a variety of card prices. We have the alternate art Arceus at $43, dropping 42%. And then the next big cards were the Lugia V-Star, Rainbow Version, dropping 45%. Those two are actually quite playable, so I think they may drop more uh, once they're out of rotation. And then we have Sneasler at $38, or was at $38, dropping 50%. A new Pokemon, probably not so popular with the fan base. Next we have this Pikachu with Red, one of my personal favorites. It was a $31 card, dropped 38% now at $19, as a savings of $12. And then we got the Garchomp V with Cynthia. Uh, this card I actually picked up like pretty soon after release, I think. It was $27. A 29% drop brings it to $19, only $8 difference, so not that big of a drop we're seeing now. And then we have a fan favorite Pokemon, the Umbreon VMAX, which held amazingly well. It was a $26 card dropping only 11% to $23 now, just a $3 savings in one year's time. Alright, now comes the fun part. We get to predict the prices of the Scarlet and Violet Era cards that came out in 2023 and see where their prices will be in 2024. Same time, next year is going to be the weekend before Christmas. So go ahead and comment down below if you agree or disagree. If my prices are too high or too low. And then if I'm right or wrong come next year, don't kill me in the comments. It's just for fun. 
I guess I'm willing to take it if I'm putting myself out there on YouTube. All right, first prediction is for the special illustration rare cars are from 151. I predict a 30% drop. It'll be a $80 card at the same time next year, uh, comparable to the Brilliant Stars Charizard, which is alternate art, I think, which is harder to pull. Drop 37%, so feeling pretty good about this prediction. For Roaring Moon, I'm predicting a 45% drop to $46 next year. And then for the Terra Charizard from Obsidian Flames, not a fan of this card at all. Um, I predict at least a 35% drop. It'll be a $36 Charizard card come this time next year. Plus the Pedian Fates has a shiny version of this card, which is gonna be way more popular. And then the Magic Carp is gonna be the card that's gonna be the anomaly, um, considering it's already shot up so much. So just a 15% drop, it'll be a $47 card next year. And for Iron Valent, one of my personal favorite cards, I predict a 40% drop to $29 next year. It's a bit, it's also playable, so it might hold up its value as well. And then for Blastoise from 151, I personally already pulled two of these, so maybe the pull rates are not that hard for SIRs. So predicting at least a 30% drop, and it'll be just under $30. Next, I predict big drops for Godango and Iron Hands, both 45%. They'll be $16 cards next year. Next up, Charizard with a 40% drop to $20. Not many full arts are this expensive, so I think it's got room to drop. Next, I see the least popular Kanto starter dropping the biggest with 35% drop to $26. And then I can see Electazam dropping at least 30% and be a $22 card. And my personal favorite card from 151, the Zapdos SIR will drop the least amount at only 25%. It'll go from a $38 card to just below $30 at $29. Go ahead and comment down below. Let me know how I'm doing so far, which ones I'm way off on, and what your predictions are for a few of these so far. I think all cards on this page are dropping at least 40%, and the biggest drop is going to be from the Garchomp. Again, it's a Terra Pokemon. I'm not a fan of it. Uh, I love Garchomp, but that's not the artwork that I like. And so 50% drop, $12 card. And the next ones are all dropping 45% are going to be the Bulbasaur, Charmander. Uh, those two, they're illustration rares. They should not be this expensive. I think most illustration rares are like $10. Um, and then Altaria, uh, you know, it's a beautiful looking card. I don't know how popular Altaria is as a Pokemon to collectors. So 45% drop as well. And then the ones that are going to hold up the best is going to be the Groudon. My, one of my personal favorites, it'll be a $14 card. And then the Charizard, the gold one. Gold cards are not that expensive, I think, most of the time. So 40% drop, $13 card. And this is going to be the last page we look at. I see, again, uh, Pikachu and Squirtle from 151. Illustration Rare is dropping 40%. They will be $13 and $11. Then we have Tyranitar, also Illustration Rare, dropping at least 30% to $14. Then the Maridon and Chen Pao and Gardevoir are very relevant now in the current meta. So they might hold their value. Unless rotation or new cards coming in changes the meta. So if they stay relevant throughout the year until next year. They can just maybe hover around this price. I'm predicting a small drop, 15 to 20%. I'm just going to stop around these cards since they were valued around that $20 mark, which is like the cutoff for me to see any actual savings. If you're looking at like a $10 card, even if it draws 50%, you're only saving yourself $5. That's kind of like not the biggest deal breaker, you know, depending on where you buy your card, eBay or TCG player, you might be bidding above market value about that much anyway. So this is where I kind of see the value and savings kind of end or diminish. So let me know what your thoughts are. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Dirge EX.